Hi everyone, my name is Babur. I am a developer advocate for Apache API 6. Nowadays, it is one of the fastest growing top projects of Apache Software Foundation. Today, I am going to present to you briefly low code plugin orchestration in Apache API 6. So, let's get started. APIs by now, we are all familiar with the term. Every service we use today either uses an API or is an API itself. APIs are central in building and delivering your, your services. And you know, the success of your service depends on the integrity, availability and the performance of your APIs. Apache API 6 is a lightweight, fast and open source API gateway. The role of Apache API 6 and uh, building large-scale cloud-native microservices is uh, very considerable. It has uh, rich traffic management features, it is fully dynamic, and uh, uh, it introduces all the above concerns by allowing your development work to focus on the core features, uh, business tasks at your hand. Plugins are additional components that can be plugged into the API gateway. Plugins are a hard mechanism in Apache API 6 and it specializes in component behaviors to exactly fit your needs and technical concentrates. And when you're using Apache API 6, you must be faced with multiple types of plugins Currently, it has more than 50 built-in plugins uh, broken down into several categories, as you can see, like uh, authentication, security, uh, traffic control, observability, serverless, and uh, many more. During the technological selection, the most important consideration for a development team was a chosen product match the technological stack or not. Apache API 6 has been supporting customized plugins since the day it was born. With the Apache API 6, you can write custom plugins in a programming language that you are most familiar with, like Java, uh, JavaScript, uh, Go, uh, and Python. API 6 is a first open source API gateway with built-in dashboard. It offers powerful and flexible interface for developers to use. The dashboard was designed to make it simple as possible for the users to operate with API 6 admin API through the interface. Under the hood, the interface talks to the admin API by uh, sending requests. As you can see, the Apache API 6 dashboard lists the currently available plugins on the left side and on the right side drawing board. We can easily drag and drop the plugins on the drawing board to arrange them all and uh, fill the data bound into the plugins. And then the whole process is completed. The additionally, we can also combine multiple plugins uh, to create our uh, custom plugins with a set of conditions. With enough theoretical knowledge, now we can jump into demo session. Here, as you can see, I opened it on my browser, Apache API 6 dashboard. Uh, and on how to install Apache API 6 and it is dashboard, I have separate video tutorials. I am leaving out references out there. You can watch on how to install and play with the dashboard. Uh, once you have a login page open it, you can basically type username as admin by default uh, the password also as admin but you can change uh, the login credentials on Apache API 6 config. So I will go and log in now and as you can see now I am on uh, uh, UI. Uh, for the Apache API 6, there are many things, uh, many things you can do, like you can uh, create a route. In my case, I have uh, some routes are uh, created, and or you can uh, also specify upstream. Uh, even you can bind the given upstream to the route. 
In my case, I have one upstream backend service. In our case, now up and running, and I have one road created for the demo purposes. Now, uh, you can know how to find uh, the Apache Apache dashboard uh, uh, plugin orchestration. I'm going to show you. So, and when you're creating new road or you are the configuring existing road, you can have uh, options on uh, plugin config where you can enable one plugin or use the uh, orchestration to enable uh, more than one plugin together. Uh, in my case, I will choose uh, the first route and go to config page. Uh, and on config page, you can see some already defined route configurations. Uh, I can give, for example, my road, for the my road example road if uh, I didn't do before and some uh, properties for the road you can leave as it is default etc and also we have uh, ready API backend server in my case it's targeting to the mock uh, HTTP server but uh, in real case you can have our own server up and running uh, I am interested on more on the sort uh, step uh, plugin config where are, I can see uh, and uh, enable some available plugins from the list. So as you can see, you can here define uh, uh, define the one plugin for the road, uh, or you can also use uh, another option orchestration. Yeah, this gives the capability to uh, use multiple plugins together on the. Uh, plugin orchestration dashboard you can see on the left side there are some existing plugins uh, they are categorized by different uh, directions like uh, different usabilities you can see authentication security uh, in, um, in my case uh, let's uh, think of one simple scenario where we can uh, use uh, more than one plugin and uh, draw some uh, actions on the drawing board. Let's think of new scenario where we decide the subsequent API request processing logic based on the processing result of previous, uh, let's say, plugin. I will choose two plugins uh, for this demo. Uh, one is IP restriction plugin, another is limit count. Let's say uh, when uh, our API receives requests only from white listed APIs and we can control it with API restriction plugin. Uh, so let's uh, find the API uh, restriction plugin from the search bar. Uh, you can even go to the security because uh, API restriction plugin belongs to security. Uh, but before uh, put uh, before putting this uh, IP restriction, we need to define uh, the starter point. Like uh, from the general, for example, we need to say uh, to our API six dashboard like from which plugin I should start. And to, to control the traffic. Let's say I will start with uh, API restriction. Uh, let's connect these uh, two together because all external calls to our backend server will be uh, whitelisted. Uh, only whitelist APIs can access it. But IP restriction also gives you the, another option that you can also uh, define the blacklisted APIs. So now I have AIP restriction in place. Uh, next step is I need to uh, give a uh, properties. Uh, there are some required properties uh, for each plugin in API 6 and there are optional ones as well. But required ones we need to always uh, set before uh, making anything on the plugin. From the documentation, if you uh, notice it, like uh, for API restriction uh, requires to have well, either a white listed IP address uh, property or blacklist. Uh, like in my case, I am simply 
saying that uh, only allow uh, the API calls from my, let's say, uh, local host. Uh, in my case, uh, I'm just defining API 6 server. Other APIs uh, except uh, this whitelisted API uh, should be rejected. So uh, we can later on test it. Now, in my case, I'm just uh, putting uh, this uh, JSON structure on this uh, inside the raw data editor. And uh, I, as you can see, also my enable toggle switched on. And I will click and submit. Now, we already uh, set the configuration for IP restriction. Next step, let's imagine once uh, we have users uh, with a correct IP address uh, we should allow the user uh, from that API to access our resource. Next thing is we need to define a negative condition uh, in case the, we, the API is trying to reach uh, by the API address not uh, whitelisted. Uh, we can also with a plugin orchestration uh, set some conditions uh, as output from the IP restriction. Condition uh, on the condition flow, you can uh, set uh, uh, some uh, error error case like an error rule. Uh, usually, it is consists of HTTP status code. What if uh, we get uh, get requests from not allowed IP address. Let's say I can simply put uh, HTTP status like a 403 in case uh, IP address is not whitelisted, uh, the, uh, the, the users will get unauthorized error. I will go and click confirm on the pop-up message and now uh, I need to also to connect these two default to let's say uh, flows. As you can see, uh, plug illustrations allowing you to pass a context from one plugin to another. Our second plugin, uh, let it be a limit count. Again, on the search bar, I will uh, find the limit plugin. It should be under traffic control uh, with uh, along with other uh, traffic control plugins like uh, let's choose this one uh, to rate uh, to enable the rate limiting capabilities for the api uh, getaway so i will also connect these two conditions if uh, ip restrictions passes uh, we need to also control internal calls like how many times uh, and how often our endpoint can be accessed accordingly also we need to define some rules uh, or plugin properties on the plugin editor again uh, make sure that uh, you have toggle switched on enable this plugin and define the number of uh, requests let's say in my case i would like to uh, limit number of requests up to two uh, within the uh, let's say 60 60 seconds uh, in one minute we can uh, our endpoint can receive or up to two requests uh, for the demo purpose now also you can uh, define some keys uh, usually uh, keys uh, like uh, any user specified key you would like to use uh, in my case I can say like example key but you can use any custom uh, key uh, so for the rejection code uh, what if uh, uh, the limit counts exceed this uh, two you know, we need to uh, for example by whether say service unavailable HTTP response uh, or we can define like uh, uh, 403 like uh, forbidden error let it be uh, 403 uh, if number of requests more than two I will click and submit the uh, save existing configuration and finally click next 
and uh, confirm all the changes for the road and uh, we can also uh, review uh, what is changed uh, against uh, the road configuration uh, as you can see the scroll down and see the plugin configuration changed we are using now plugin orchestration option for the route I will click submit it was successful now uh, we enabled uh, two plugins for the given rod uh, and uh, we can also test uh, these two scenarios now by uh, running the uh, color commands let's start testing uh, with uh, API restriction plugin as a first condition for our orchestration uh, I will go to my terminal and I will do following kernel command like uh, I'm, I'm saying that uh, I'm trying to access uh, the API with wide listed uh, IP uh, in my case so as expected we will get uh, for 200 OK because uh, this API uh, IP address uh, is kind of whitelisted however if you try to change IP address to something different uh, obviously you will get uh, some kind of error uh, by saying that your IP address is not allowed to access API resource so now IP restriction plugin is working as we expected let's uh, now try to test the uh, next uh, flow like when uh, once we have IP uh, whitelisted we can have access to resource but we have a limited number of requests so I will run uh, once again uh, my API calls with whitelist IP address if I run the first time it should be fine within the 60 seconds if I run a second time it should be okay but if I try to run the third time of course uh, the API gateway should respond quickly like uh, we are requesting too frequent and please try it again later uh, now as you can see the two uh, plugin orchestration flows are working as we expected in this demo we uh, made a use of two plugins however you can also uh, try to uh, play with other plugins uh, existing plugins in Apache API 6 uh, you can go to uh, for example uh, API, look, at, look at the API restriction plugin on the security uh, tab and also or for example traffic on the traffic and check limit count there are more options uh, every uh, listed plugins in a plugin orchestration can be used together with that uh, our tutorial is coming to the end uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me or you can join our the community by subscribing to mailing list or you can join our slack channel if you have any questions regarding uh, plug illustration or plugin development, uh, 